Let me guess. You want to do the Mob of the Dead Easter Egg or the Pop Goes the Weasel achievement, whatever you want to call it, but you don't have four people to get it done. So you go online, you join a public match, only to get paired up with a guy who's bragging about how drunk he is or how high he is, or some kid whose mom is already yelling at him that he's been playing too long and he needs to get off. Or you probably had a situation like mine where you play with some pretty decent players for about two and a half hours and get to the final step only to have one of the guys quit out and make it absolutely impossible to do the last step. God, so much time wasted trying to do this Easter egg, only to have other people ruin it. So before I go any further, here's the deal. You absolutely cannot do the Easter egg without four people. It just won't work unless they patch it. There has to be four people in the afterlife at the same time to get on the plane to complete the last step. But if you're a badass like me, you can do what I did. Grab two controllers, two Xboxes, and get a friend to help dominate that shit with each of you playing two characters at one time. Now I'm telling you all this up front so you don't get pissed off that I misled you with the video title. This is how to do the Easter Egg achievement with two people. But those two people are controlling two characters each. Get it? Now like I said, this ain't for no normal gamer. That shit's going to be extremely hard, especially when you get into the later rounds because there's double the amount of zombies because the game is set to four people even though only two of you are actually playing. Plus, there's times when you have to keep your shitty ass partner alive since no one's really controlling him anyway. Talk about making the game more challenging. You got what it takes? Oh shit, this is going to be fun. Alright, here's how this is going to work. You and a friend sign into your own box, each with a guest. First thing you're going to want to do is get everyone to the wolf's head and get the guests in a corner so that you can protect them. Why do you want to protect them? Because they have afterlives that you're going to want to use so that you can get this shit done as soon as possible. Now you want to try and save a zombie at the end of every round so you can go around and use the afterlives of the players that are still alive. If they die off then it's going to take you even longer to get everything opened and everything turned on. Step 1. Get as much shit turned on and doors open and get the warden's key as soon as possible. If you're buying the box, make sure whoever gets the blunder get keeps it because you're going to need that shit later. Step 2. Get all five plane parts and build the plane. If you don't know how to do that shit, then why the hell haven't you watched my other goddamn videos? Seriously, check them out. They'll show you how to do all this shit and more. Step 3. While you're gathering the plane parts, feed the three wolf's heads and get the Hell's Retriever, because you're going to need that shit later too. Step 4. Make sure as you go you build the Acid Gat Upgrade Kit and the Zombie Shield. Step 5. Get on that motherfucking plane and get over to the bridge. Step 6. Get your ass back to Alcatraz. No one told you you could leave. Step 7. Gather the five skulls. Now the skulls don't show up in theater mode, so even though we're getting them, you won't be able to see them, so I'll use footage from a different game for these. One is located in the toilet of this jail cell right next to where you start off the game. Another skull is right above the spark on the telephone pole right outside the warden's office. Another skull is down by the docks right here. Another skull is on the roof right over here after this shed. And the bitch to get is this asshole sitting on top of this light pole. You can get that motherfucker as you're riding the gondola going past. When you get all the skulls, you're going to hear that bastard laugh letting you know that you completed the step. Once you get all five skulls, get your ass to the warden's office before anyone else does and grab that free blunder get that spawns right on his desk. That asshole I'm playing with got there before I did and grabbed it. Fucking bastard. Step seven and a half. Okay, this step isn't part of the easter egg, but if you want the golden spork, which is a one hit kill until round 34, go to the cell with the poster by the warden's office and throw your retriever at it. Go into the afterlife over here and electrocute the spoon on the ground. After that, run to the cafeteria and throw your retriever at the spoon sitting over here on the left. If multiple people want the spork, have them throw their retriever at this spoon too and run up with you to the tub and stir the blood.
After that, use the upgraded blunder get or the acid get to get a bunch of kills in the laundry room until you hear that laugh again. Once you hear that, you can run up to the tub and press X or square to grab the golden spork. Yeah, motherfuckers! The golden spork. The golden spork. The golden spork. It is so awesome. It is a one-hit kill. It destroys all. Motherfuckers can't stop me with the golden spork. Talk about overpowered. This shit is one-hit kill until wave 34? Seriously? You're gonna give me this weapon. You should be making this shit harder for me, not easier. Harder. Make this shit harder for me, not easier. Golden Spork? Damn, motherfuckers! Damn, if you have the Blunder Get upgraded to the Acid Get upgraded, Pack a Punched to the Vitrolic Withering or whatever the fuck they call it. Why the fuck they called it that? I don't know. And the Golden Spork? And an Afterlife? What the hell were they thinking? Alright. Enough of that. Step 8. Grab the gas cans and refuel the plane so that you can get back to the bridge. You're gonna have to go there a total of four times, so you might as well get the first three out of the way now and fill up the plane for the fourth trip. But don't leave yet, because there's a couple of steps you have to do before you go. Like step 9. Alright, you have to put these damn four sets of numbers in the light board. And unless you have someone doing the revive trick to give you more time, it's probably going to take you at least two tries to get them in. The good news, though, is that they're always the same four sets of numbers. So here they are in order. 872, 101, 386, 481. Now when you put in the numbers, you'll know you got it right because they switch to a different number and then you can move on to the next number. Step 10. Once you do the numbers, you have to gather these headphones and listen to the background story as you make your way back up to the roof. Step 11. This is important. To do the final trip, you need all four players in the afterlife. So if you're doing the shit like we are, get everyone's ass back up to the roof and then start a new wave. This will make sure everyone who died is respawned with an afterlife in the same area. Go into the afterlife mode and run your ass up to the plane as fast as you can to get on. Cool thing about doing it this way is that there's no timer for the afterlife while you're doing this last step. So once you get up to the plane, just wait for the other noobs to die and go into the afterlife and then get on the plane yourself. It'll automatically put everyone who's in the afterlife on the plane with you. And off you go. Step 12. Once you're at the bridge this final time, go revive yourself in the electric chair and then do whatever the hell you want. You're going to get the achievement no matter what, even if you die. In fact, that's the point. But if you want, one of the four players is going to be the weasel. The other three players are trying to kill him. The zombies don't attack weasel because he's on their side. So you can shoot at your friends if you want. Hell, in this game, I was the weasel and I was trying to let my friends survive. But then I got tired of that shit, so I put an end to it. And that, my friends, is how it's done. We just dominated a game 
and an Easter egg that's meant for four players, and we did it with two. You want to see more shit like this? Guess who I use to help do shit for my videos? My badass subscribers. So hit that subscribe or like button now. Oh, and if you want to find out when I'm gaming or looking for help, get your ass over to Facebook or Twitter and follow or like that shit over there too.